the sign. Armstrong sets up away. The one-two pitch, swing and a miss. He got him on a slider and the inning is over. Justin Flip strikes out the side. In the top half of the first, no runs, no hits, and nobody on the radar gun in the bottom half of the fifth. Here's the 0-2 pitch, swinging a drive towards left center field, going back as Cleveland over by the track, reaching, and he makes a leaping grab. Nice catch by Brent Cleveland, sprinting towards left center. That ball got caught up into the wind. Cleveland got a great jump. Add to it, bat over the course of a single game. The 0-1, swinging a line drive towards center field. That's going to drop in for a base hit. Cleveland around third, heading for the plate. Cleveland will score. The throw comes all the way through. It's an RBI single to center field for Cole Armstrong. And the wing at strike first. It's one to nothing in the bottom half of the set on the right side. Here's the 0-1, high fly ball, deep left center field, going back as weak, over by the truck, looking up at the wall, and it's gone! John Rodriguez put the wing nuts back in front with a two-run homer to left center field, just beneath the scoreboard for Rodriguez, his eighth home run of the year. And it's now 3-2, Wingnuts here in the bottom half of the third inning. So Wichita capitalizes on the two-out error, both of those. We're in the bottom of the fourth. The 1-0 pitch, line drive, shallow right field. That's beyond the reach of four to base hit. Cleveland's going to be waved to the plate. Valencia won't make a throw. It's a two-out RBI single to right field for Colt Lears. And the Wingnuts stretch the lead of 4-2 to in the bottom of the fourth inning. On and clip off the stretch, high fly ball near the left center, charging is McDonald, still coming out, reaches, slides, and he makes the catch for the first out. Great play by Jared McDonald that hung up in the wind just long enough. McDonald had to respect Gallagher's power, he was playing deep, charged in, slid down, two runs, five hits, and two errors for the Amarillo Sox. Jones swings, grounds on left side, diving stop by Corey, flips to second for one, Cahalli at a first, and it's in time for the double play, and the inning is over. Ryan Corey with a sensational play going up the middle. He took away a base in and a sharply hit ground ball behind second. He flipped the ball from his glove while lying on the turf. Cahalilio took it for the force, and he had enough time to get Jones over and away. He takes off, pitch is taken for a strike throw to second base by Armstrong. An attack from Corey is in time, and Cerna is out at second base. Cole Armstrong throws out KC Cerna. A changeup taken for a strike. Armstrong second and third and one man down. The 2-0 pitch. Swing a line drive towards center field. Coming on Martin. Makes the catch. Cleveland tags. Here comes a throw to the plate. It's offline. Cleveland scores and the game is tied. David Amerson comes through off. Brings the hands up in front of his chest. Looks at second base. The 0-2 pitch. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit through to center field. Nieves being waved to the plate. Throw to the plate by Martin. Won't be in time. Nieves scores and the wing nuts win it. Jared McDonald with a single to center field. Dry Soma Bell Nieves and the wing nuts pull it out. Six to five in the bottom half of the ninth inning. The wing nuts mob Jared McDonald on the infield on 0-2. He hammers one on the ground through the box and tries home a bell to Amos. A two-out game-winning single here on the bottom half of the ninth. And the wing nuts score twice here in the final inning and steal this ball game for the Sox, winning by a final of 6-5. I believe starting off with the base hit, and Abby, I was giving him one pitch, and then he swung through the fastball, and I wanted him to bunt, and he bunted that foul. And Came up with a good at bat, found some good pitches off, and came through with the base hit, and then Cole, Cole Armstrong with a good bunt, and I knew it. I told Pop that Ambo was going to come through for us later in the game once we put him in defensively, and sure enough, comes through with the big sack fly, and then J Mac with the big knock to win it. And uh, Justin Clip, another terrific job by him there for seven and a third. He was very good, Shoes, once again. You know, deserved to win a ball game again tonight. You know, we had it under control, four to two. Walt came in, and did his job. Unfortunately, Hayes walked the guy, gave up the chopper up the middle, and then do. You know, Jones looked like he was sitting on his slider and, and hit the double after that. But you know, we came through, and Clipper was tremendous. You know, like I said, deserved to win that ball game, but it didn't happen. You know, we just picked each other up today, one of those days. And McDonald continues to do well. Uh, has the game winner on uh, 0-2 count there at the end. Huge. You know, Pop's been on him. Pop and I both about his two-strike approach, making adjustment with two strikes and. Pop said right away he did make an adjustment there after, after the two strikes and hit the split finger right back up the middle for the base hit and the game winner. Abby got a tremendous jump from second and scored pretty easily. Uh, I felt like it was our game to win the whole time. I mean, uh, we led for most of the game and you know, 
know, they made a run at us late, and, and you know, tip your hat to them for, for sticking with it too. But uh, I mean, I feel like our lineup was you know, dangerous top to bottom, but definitely had the heart of the order coming up and, uh, and Cleve and, and Avi there. So uh, I mean, everybody just had huge ABs in that last inning. And uh, the execution up and down, you mentioned the, the two guys getting on, Cole a great fun, the pinch it sack fly, and then a, you come through in an 0-2 count. Yeah, I mean, it all starts with Cleve. If Cleve doesn't get on, I mean, it changes that entire inning. And then, uh, you know, I'll be battling with two strikes, finding a hole, and then you know, Cole coming up, doing a job, Ambo off the bench, you know, staying ready, doing his job, that's huge. So, you know, just got to keep, everybody keep doing their part, keep rolling. And just kind of talk about the at bat there at the end. Of, you know, it's two outs. You guys already have the game side there, but so you're able to win it there before it even goes to extra inning. Yeah, just trying to. Uh, you know, Ambo Ambo had the hard part. You know, getting the tying run to the plate, and so you know he did that. And at that point, it's just about you know staying confident, getting a pitch I can hit, and find a hole with it. And now about the job. Uh, your starting pitcher Justin Clip. I just wanted to run there in seven and a third today. Yeah, Clip's been great every time out the last couple of times. Uh, I mean, Sundays are tough, day game, you know, quick turnaround, but you know, he came out, he was lights out, offense started off pretty good and then kind of took a break there in the middle, but you know, just staying strong all the way through and finishing the game more than anything. All right, great job, J-Mac. Anybody at home you want to say hi to? Let's see, uh, mom, dad, of course, uh, my girlfriend Jennifer, I don't know if she's watching today, but uh, Lindsay, Andrew, Emily, McKinley, and uh, friends David and Elizabeth.